Alright, so we're back. Uh, in the last video we basically killed ourselves with some potion, or fakely killed ourselves. So we're in the underworld now, looking for, or, for to help some people, apparently to get some ghost scepter to speak to Captain Steelbeard. So uh, I have no idea what it's going to be like down here, other than me stealing bowls and looking at fires. Hopefully I shouldn't have to fight too much things because I have no health. Well, hello there. Can it be a living man here after so long? It is good to meet someone who still has living blood flowing through their veins. What are you doing here? Trapped by a curse. I cannot leave. For a thousand years I have been imprisoned here. Trapped in this ghost form. Cursed to dwell in the limbo between life and death. I can't imagine such an existence. Then you are lucky. No matter what you imagine, the reality is worse. She looks the same as all the other ones. She could just be lying. How can a curse be broken? I misused the power of the Earth Amulet. So now I must make my own artifact. One that is stronger than death. What kind of artifact could do that? A skull scepter. It is powerful enough to call back the spirits of the dead. I need one of those myself. That is why you are here. If you bring me the materials, I will make one for you. What do you need to make the scepter? Several things. Not all of them easy to find. Of course. We'll see about that. My fate is entwined with that of the other spirits here. I need the trophy of a hunter, the spear of a warrior, and the spoils of a thief, and also an item that belonged to the dead spirit you wish to call back. Talk to the spirits. They possess all these items. I'll see what I can do. How did this happen to you? A long time ago, I ruled the people of the Clan of the Winds. But then came the monster Mara with her hunger for power and human slaves. She gave me the Earth Amulet to enslave my people. I thought it was the only way to save them. But one day, we rose up against her. For this, I was cursed. Obviously, that didn't work out. Mara was still too powerful for us. There were four of us, all Chakas. Matega from the Clan of Water, Akando from the Clan of Fire, Cusco from the Clan of the Earth, and me. Each of us had a powerful artifact. In the end, I was able to turn Mara to stone, but we could not destroy her. So now we are trapped in this limbo, waiting for deliverance. Chaka, woman, no! You were a Chaka, a chieftain, but you're a woman. It was not unusual for women to rule over the clans. Many clever and skillful Kiki became Chakas of the people. But after the Titan Wars, many things changed. Nahili! Hopefully, I don't have to fight. I can't steal from her. Oh, I can. Schematic. I thought I should save that little conversation. What's this on the floor? A gold nugget. Oh, what the fuck is that? A giant monkey. I don't want to fight you. Can I talk to it? No. No!
No! Okay. I have to ignore him. He's not nice. Perhaps I need to re repair my uh, blade. Or would it give me a message if I'm breaking it? I don't know. I'm yet to hear anything or it say anything that I've broken. Maybe it's just talking shit. Maybe nothing breaks. I remember picking up a potion as well. What does a potion do? Persuasion. False death. Marksman. Ah, oh, that's what it was. Get me here. Goblet. What's going on here then? Mr. Man. Life has returned. We feel his presence. Um, are you talking to me? Yes. No. You live, but bring no life. No half to fit our half. Bring warmth to our old bones. Sounds like a villain from Batman. You sure it's not half your mind you lost? Our pain is too great to be hurt by words. Our body too far away. We see life where our body walks. Farms and pirates, people of horror, Kai. Pirate, not a pirate, he says. Lies. Is there anything I can do to help you? We are whole and apart. We are broken but joined. So you're connected to your other half? We see through both eyes. Lucky you. What do you see? A ship. An evil man. The one lies. The traitor dies. Or the village dies. I'll see if I can find your other half. They don't see what the wind brings. Here's hoping it's your better half. The wind carries the call. Leads us to life's shores. Okay. Does this mean I have to start getting quests from these ghosts and then jumping back and forth in the underworld, or at least limbo? Because that's going to be gay. <laughs> My prayers have been heard. At last you have come. Who do you pray to? To my ancestors. I have begged them to send someone to release me. And here you are. This is no chance encounter. This is fate. Will you help me? I can bear this torment no longer. What was it? A rare white diamond, locked in a chest in my temple. Just open the chest, and the diamond is yours. You want me to steal from you? 
That's different. It is the only way to free my accursed soul. So how do I open this chest of yours? The chest has no key, but there is still a way. A voodoo witch may be able to help you. That's handy. What's up with you? Mara. Oh, well, of course. She cursed me. I cannot die until someone steals something precious from me. You're waiting to be robbed? Many years ago, she gave me a powerful artifact. The thief's bone hand. But then I betrayed her and used the hand to disarm her. In return, she damned me, using something precious of mine against me. A diamond heist, huh? Yeah, I'm up for that. I have waited a thousand years. A few moments more will make no difference. Mara seems to be like a scapegoat. What do I know about picking locks? Like every, if everyone's got a problem, it's always Mara's fault. Like, yeah, they've all been cursed and sent here. They could have just been dicks. chest. So I'll use my super skills of evasion get past this bit of a giant monkey ape whatever Let's see if I can find the other half Guessing in the arena, I'm gonna have to fight someone or something. It's gonna be a cunt. Just checking these first. Now I can pick up skulls. But I'm dead, i am apparently got an addiction to taking people's skulls. Okay. Who's this? You, Cusco! The living don't survive here. You came into the warrior's arena. You must fight. No chance we can just talk then? No, we fight. You came here. There are rules. Until I find my equal in battle here, there is no rest for me. You are here. Maybe it is fate that brings you. I challenge you. No one has ever beaten me, neither when I lived, nor since I died. Alright, you don't look so tough. Oh, he's gonna be mean. Guts. Perhaps you will see them soon. He's got such a deep voice.
Well, I'll load it up again. And I'll eat some provisions. Get some more health. And then I'll fight him. I think I can beat him. He doesn't seem too hard. Not harder than I thought he would be. Fuck! I was too hasty. Also, I keep on rolling for no reason. Until I... All right, you don't look so tough. Yes! That's what you get, ghosty boy. You... you defeated me? Everyone's always surprised. So many years, and finally free. You are a mighty warrior. This is my spear. I no longer need it. Take it. May it aid you in your task. It's got a lisp. Now I can finally find the peace I have waited for. Farewell, Tonka. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Anything I can steal here? No. Apparently I cannot steal. 
torches. The guy did say he could see a ship, but I doubt it's that ship in the water. Perhaps I should check. Can I even swim in this game? It appears not. How do I get back to the real world? This world is real. But you may return to yours by returning to the altar. Sleep, but take no potion if you do not wish your false death to become true. But first, find the restless and give them peace. Okay, Tal. I wonder what all these graves are for here. I don't know why they would have loads of graves and things in a place that's meant to be the end of the world. Wouldn't it just have all the souls in the buried somewhere else? And seeing that all these uh, savages cannot uh, go on boats, or at least the one I've got on my boat has never been on a boat or experienced anything like moving over water. Perhaps I just got a redundant black person on my boat. Oh, there's a guy over here. What the guy? Anything I can steal first? Your bowl. And an amulet. Oof. What's that amulet do? What kind of a ghost are you? You look almost alive. I came here to find a dead friend of mine. Forgive me. I have almost forgotten what the living look like. Can I have been here so long that I have forgotten that? An eternity I have been imprisoned here. I cannot die. Cool. Why not? It was my punishment for daring to rebel against Mara. I know what happens, but I'm going to ask you anyway. What happened? I came up with a plan for killing her, but I could not do it alone. I went to see the other chieftains to ask for their help. But while I was away, my family was killed by a silverback. It wasn't your fault. You couldn't have known. Maybe you are right, but I failed in both my duties then. I can understand how you felt. And now I must hunt that same silverback every day. But no matter what I do, 
The beast always returns. Is the silverback here? Yes. He is in a cave near here. That is Mara's punishment for me. What if I help you kill the silverback? Perhaps a living man could do what a dead one could not. If we destroy the beast together, I will give you my most valuable treasure. Then let's do it. Let's find that silverback. And then I will finally be rid of the beast. For too long, Mara has tortured me with its existence. Then let's finish it for good. Come. I will show you where it hides. Well, let me do a little save first. Okay, let's go. Motega. Maybe I'm gonna get this guy to tank it while I slap it in the back with my knife or my sword. May as well be a knife if the damage it does. Take care. It is somewhere nearby. Can you not feel it watching us? Death is close, living man. Don't worry about me. The beast comes. I am ready, if you are. Alright, let's pull out my fucking sword. I want a shield or something. I always seem so vulnerable because of this parrying business is terrible. A thousand years I have tried to kill this thing. Where's this guy going? Where's he going? Oi! Right. Come on! How are you meant to dodge that thing? It's brutal. Brutal! Soon you cannot block it. You cannot roll away from it. Perhaps I should just... I don't know. Hop up on that ledge and throw spears at it. Or is that? Or is that the lame way of killing it? I'll give it a go. Yeah, you tell that. I'll shoot it, make it my bitch.
Fucking hell. Can I kill it? Think of it. Silverback skin. A thousand years I have tried to kill this thing. Don't worry, it won't come back this time. After a thousand years, is my punishment finally over? Without you, I would have been imprisoned here forever. I'm glad I was here to help. Please, take this skull with my thanks. You have earned it. How did you plan to kill Mama? With the weapon she herself had given us. She gave me the Titan Harpoon as reward for enslaving my own people. I fought as well as I could, but in the end, I was not strong enough to defeat her. I've heard how powerful she is. I sense that my time has finally come. Good luck on your journey, living man. Mine has finally reached its end. Well, that's good. At least he can go and be at peace. So I'll go and speak to uh, the the witch lass that tells me to get bits and bobs, and maybe she can tell me how to open the chest. Hello! Can you make a special key for me? That depends. What do you need it for? Akando has a white diamond in a locked chest. Ah, yes. For that you will need a magical key. I will need gold to make you such a key. How much gold? 300 gold will be enough. Make me a key for the chest. I will. What a bitch! Some time, though. Okay, is it done? Yeah. You should work. Good luck. Thank you kindly. Can I not just teleport there? Pow! I can! My newly found skills. The chest is open. Your soul is free. Once, I was eternally cursed. Now, I am forever indebted. Keep the diamond. It may yet be of use to you. My chains are lifted. The light awaits me. Fare thee well, noble stranger. Fare thee well. And I'm wearing the hat that I've got from We'll Go Home for the Month. So, hopefully, that should be all the bits. I have the materials you need. And I brought the dead man's hat. Fine work. Let me see. I need just a few fibers from the hat. I have done it. The skull scepter is complete. Now, I need only to bind the spirit of the dead man to the scepter. Here. Now, I too... I'm finally freed from my curse. Do what we could not. Kill Mara and save our world. My time has come. I am the last one who will set you a task. Your journey will not be easy. But I sense that you can do what we could not. Good luck, living man. You will be in my thoughts. Yes. Okay. It's quite a small island considering it's for all the dead people. Let's hit the same. I've got the skull scepter. And you lifted the curse on the souls that helped you. You have done as I asked. Now I shall do the same. Oh boy. He was, he was locomoto. Shobo nimbo alkara. Still beard. 
Good. Flies around in a fucking ship. That is awesome. Boil my bollocks and whale oil. You look like you've never seen a ship before. Mara, damn that devilish sea bitch. Steelbeard? I should have torn her black heart out when I had the chance. Give me your saber, lad, and I'll do it right now. Mara's not here. You're too late. Gone? I should have guessed. Yes! Go hide in your sea all you bitch! I'll still see you one day for a reckoning! Don't you remember what happened? Remember? Of course I remember. There was... Uh, and then... Too much rum, maybe. The old memory's not what it used to be. I remember you, though. The Chancer who brought my patty home. That's me. And... Uh, we were on the Sword Coast together, chasing after Crow. Crow, that bastard! What is he doing on the Sword Coast? You gotta watch out for that one. A real piece of work he is! Um, you know you're dead, right? Dead? Dead! I'll show you dead, lad! Even if I am dead, there's enough life in me to still knock the shit out of you! Fucking hell. I'm sorry, but you are dead, and back as a ghost. Dead! The legendary Captain Steelbeard! Yes. No, I remember. This is her doing. That she-devil Mara. Come on! Hang monster and face me! The battle's over, old man. She won. Never! Old Steel Beard would never die without a fight! You did fight, and you lost. I. I. No, I remember. Damn you! I'm sorry. Not as sorry as I. So you remember? Ah, and I got nothing left to lose now. Give me your saber, lad, and I'll finish this thing right now. You already said that. I did. <sighs> I'll bear that in mind. Something's not right here. No, because you're a ghost. I feel strange. What's wrong with me? There's no easy way to put this, so... I've told him. You're dead. A million times. <laughs> They've counted me dead plenty of times and I'm still here! I need to know where you hid the Earth Amulet. Earth... Amulet... Oh, yes, I remember. Then why should I share that with you? Because I want to get revenge on Mara. Because she killed me. No, because I now carry your curse. Now come on and tell me where the damn thing is. Ah, let me think. Ah, yes. Garcia's treasure chest, that's where it is. The bloody fool, he didn't even notice. 
Always thought he was so clever, and not as clever as old Steelbeard. What if he found it? He won't. Nobody reckons on that trick. So where is Garcia's treasure? In a cave in Antigua, behind a large waterfall. Here's a map. And the password to get in is All Hail Garcia. What? Always fancy themselves, did Captain Garcia. Well, this is it. Time for me to go. Good luck, lad. And look after that daughter of mine. Okie doke. Did you find your answers? I don't know. I'd have liked more time with him. There may be a way. The natives have shared secrets with you. There is voodoo magic in you. I sense it. The Shaganumbi taught me a few things. You underestimate yourself. You are strong enough to use this scepter yourself. You mean I could call Steelbeard's spirit from the underworld, even when I'm out? Exactly. So you'd give me the Skull Scepter? Yes. Take it and use it wisely. Your friend is bound to the Scepter. He will appear when you use it. Let the power flow from you and into it. That's cool. Can you teach me voodoo? What is it you want to know? Why does it always cost loads of money? Bastards. Well, you can go away. I can be alive again. Yeah, fiddly dee. A pirate's life is not for me. It's not too nice. Having to kill yourself or falsely kill yourself to speak to ghosts. Fighting undead hordes to even reach said altar. Uh, said altar. Teleporting is so much nicer. Don't I get rum from Antigua? That'll be good. Sleep in someone's bed, take their rum, and then go plunder some loot. I hop like a retard. I'd be glad to get off this island, I didn't like it, it was full of those horrible ghouls. Kept us waiting long enough. Found your old man, didn't I? Just tell me what you found out. Well, about that, I can summon him now, and I need to. You mean, you're bringing him with us? Yes. Maybe it'll be good for you, and for him, for his memory. He better remember something, or you can join him. I asked your father about the Earth Amulet. Yes, yes, and? Captain Garcia hid his treasure behind a large waterfall in Antigua. Your father hid the amulet at the back of the same cave in a buried chest. And, um, the password is... All hail Garcia. Oh, this is the genius that foiled our every plan. Uh-huh. It's time to set a new course. It's time to set a new course. Aye, aye, Captain. Antigua. Or is it? Here. Home of all pirates of the southern seas. Can I skip this?
Antigua, the pirate's den. You're no pirate until you've been here and survived it. And I thought all I needed was an eye patch. Now we can get that wreck waiting to happen fixed up. What's wrong with my ship? Have you seen your ship? No food, no drink, no possible way of defending ourselves. Oh, little things. Shouldn't be a problem. No, assuming you don't start any trouble. So what exactly do we need? Water, food, cannons, gunpowder. Not that all? Maybe a fresher outfit. Come with me. Great. Oh, she can just join the group. I'll get this last with me too. Come on, Tayoka Bukiraka. What? Your way is long talks, long journeys, many fights, waste of time. We have to know what we're dealing with. Our enemies are not wasting time. Relax. We do this right and we'll get it done. We'll face Mara soon enough. Maybe too soon. I am ready. You are afraid. You'll get your chance, I promise. I'll decide when we do it, not you. Come on, Tayoka Bukiraka. Jala, Jala! Jala, Jala! Enough. The daughter of Bakir does not take orders. Think about it this way. Without you, I wouldn't have got this far, yes? Chi. And I've not got you killed, have I? No. So you work with me, and maybe we'll both make it. Agreed? Chi. Okay then, it's settled. So get back to work. Come with me. You already have someone with you. Oh, okay. What's in all these barrels if there's no food, water, gunpowder, or anything? Barrel. That can help. Hey, is that your ship? And who's asking? Me, Rick. I'm storehouse master around here. You name it, and I'll ship it in and out. Cool. You really a captain at your age? I wish I could be like you. What kind of ship's equipment you got? You name it, we've got it. Barrels of gunpowder, wood, nails, toolboxes, everything. That's good to know. Right, first I need powder cakes. Sorry mate, no can do. Now's not a good time, you know what I mean? Are you kidding? First you list your entire stock and then... Admiral's orders. No trading allowed as long as Slane's still here. No one's allowed to supply anything that might find its way to Slane. That ship? That's Slane's vessel? That it is. He's up at the captain's house talking to the Admiral. Admiral? Strange title for a pirate. I think he awarded it to himself, to be honest. It suits him, though. He pretty much keeps this place going. Up at the captain's house. That's where he is most of the time. Come on, just a couple of powder kegs. Sorry, no can do. Bastard. The Admiral's orders. No way. I do that. Be using me for a saber practice. If you're looking for me, I'll be at the storehouse. What is this place? Zack. It's a pub. Ever heard of the sunken ones? Supposed to be things made by that hell bitch, Mara. Been too long since I've been raiding. There ain't nothing like it coming back from a raid. Talk it. It's true. There's nothing like raiding. Oh, there's gold on the floor. Is there any like blacksmith or tailor where I can get a new outfit, a captain's outfit? Pockets filled with gold, horns lined up along the keep. Instead of looking like some plebeian that's just walked out of the streets. I'll be glad when Captain Slane puts to sea. First, no goods from Tucker. There's a gun version. First, no goods from Tucker Igua. And now we can't even go to our own merchants. I even that it's church.
Hmm. This is just all random pirates. Is this Rick again? You've got plenty of responsibilities here. Yeah, but not like you have. Your own ship and crew, it must be brilliant. Being a pirate, getting all them tarts and treasure. It has its moments. You like this kind of work? Not really, but I don't have the gold to do what I really want to do. Gold's not hard to come by in a place like this. Yeah, Antigua is supposed to be full of treasure sites. I'll find just one of them and I'll be rolling in it. The captain's house? Straight down the alleyway and past the tavern. Tallest building in the city, you can't miss it. Oars lined up along the quay to welcome you home. There's still enough. Huggers and blow, that's all pirates need. Well, huggers and gold. Open. What's in here? What's that? Drunk oh, it's ones? the pub. No. It's a new captain. Welcome to the Witch's Cauldron, the most notorious bar in all the Southern Seas. First drinks on the house. What can I get you? Well, in that case, I'll take a jar of grog. My apologies, Captain. The town drunk pissed the last of the grog against the back wall yesterday. How about a dram of whiskey? Uh, sorry, Captain, we're all out of whiskey. Just give me some rum. Um, uh, rum happens to be a bit expensive right now. Pick something else, huh? Are you trying to make a fool of me? No, no. It's just that I've hardly been getting any overseas deliveries. Not since our monster trouble. I was hoping you'd ask for a beer. Like I say, on the house. Trade. What do you have to offer? He's got Bloody Mary. He could have given me that. Bastard. I'll sell him my useless bits and bobs. Like these 14 spears that I have just sitting. Silverback skin, skull. Yay, I have money again. I'm looking for a druid called Eldrick. Not that mad bastard. You know him. He was here, but he's not now. Just as well. I don't want his sort in my tavern. Scaring me regulars, banging on about winged demons and haunted temples. I was gonna chuck him out, but he left. Winged demons? I know, I know. He's lost his marbles. Can't see anyone else in town letting him in. He'll have gone to ground somewhere inland, I reckon. Try asking one of the lads out there. Maybe they can help you. What lads? Uh, try Bill. He works at the North Gate day and night. Maybe you'll have seen your mate Eldrick. Just don't go bringing him here if you find him. He's barred. Okay. Oh, you dap, get sunken ones. She said I could get a fresher outfit. She's lying. There are no outfitters here, at least none I can see. Oh, voodoo. Voodoo Emma. It's always exciting when the tides bring a new pirate captain to our shores. She speaks with her hands a lot. I can tell. So tell me, what do you desire most? So what do you have that I might be interested in? Oh, many things. Many rare and precious things. If I know what you want, maybe I can help you.
Captain Slane. <laughs> Finding him won't be difficult. Dealing with him will be. So why is that? He has a dark soul. He is a dangerous man. But then, so perhaps are you. There is a darkness in you too. But still. Tell me how to stop Mara. Mara? You think you are worthy of such a great task? Yes! I seem to have a knack of attracting trouble. Your aura draws destiny to you. Shall I read it for you? See anything? It is difficult. So many things around you in flux. Wait! Yes, I start to see it now. Your destiny. You are a steerer of worlds, determining the fate of countless other lives. This is your fate, and possibly your doom. Is that all? Thought it might be bad news or something. I say only what I see. You wanted to know. It is not my fault if you did not like what you learned. You have a point. It was your destiny. You had no choice but follow it. Right. She's not going to help me then. She's just a voodoo lass. A voodoo Emma. Take a look through the other houses. This guy's probably a swordsmith of some sort. That looks like a lot of work. That it is, lad. Is it something important you're after? Only if it isn't, piss off out of it. I'm busy. Nice cannons you've got here. Aye, and hands off. I'm selling nothing. Not till the trade embargo's lifted. Then I'll have to take my custom elsewhere. Don't come all oity toity with me. Who the fuck else sells cannons in Antigua? You're the new captain, ain't you? News travels fast round here. Everyone knows everyone on Antigua. It's how we've kept ourselves hidden away from the Inquisition for so long. News gets around as far as strangers are concerned. You so much as fart in a bathtub. Trust me, I'll hear about it. You won't last two minutes. That's what everyone thinks. Because I'm too young to be a captain? No, because you're a jumped up little no mark who gets up people's noses. No offense. What do I have to do to make you sell me something? I'm selling nothing. If you really want to do something about it, get Alvarez and Slane to kiss and make up. So the embargo gets lifted. We could all be doing something more useful than waiting for those two to sort out their differences. All right, you win. How much? It's not about gold, lad. It's a matter of principle. Okay. Crate carrier. That seems like an important task. Oh, can I steal cheese? Yes! Aye, even that old fool Wilson won't br Bonjour, mon capitaine. How may I serve you? Ah, you are a connoisseur. Please, take a closer look. Such craftsmanship, such precision. You like, oui? Those things look about as real as that accent. Monsieur has a fine sense of humor. I hope your eye for quality is sharper than your wit. I am the finest gunsmith in all the southern seas, if I humbly say so myself. If monsieur is interested, I can teach him something of my craft. For a modest fee, naturellement. You have pistols for sale. I have works of art for sale. Let me show you. 
The twins. The grinder. Oh, they all sound so brutal. But none of them are as good as the pistol I already have. Because plus thingies. I'm in the market for something a little special. Real firepower, that's what I'm looking for. Then you've come to the right place, mon capitaine. This is the finest gun shop in all the southern seas. I'm looking for something a little out of the ordinary. Ah, a connoisseur. I may have just the thing for you. This is a particularly fine piece. It was surely fate that brought it into my hands. Fate? It used to belong to that oaf of a blacksmith, Wilson, until I won it from him in a game of cards. You see? Fate. But you're still willing to sell it to someone else. We, oui, of course. I might be persuaded to part with it for the right offer. Just as long you understand that it doesn't end up back in Wilson's filthy paws. It would be a crime to see such an elegant weapon return to that stupid barbarian. Wilson's pistol. How much do you want for it? Perhaps it isn't the right item for someone like you. Are you taking the piss? What gives? A minute ago, you couldn't wait to make money on it. <laughs> In that case, it will cost you more than just gold. I need proof that you are the man of honor, you say. Only such a man can own a work of art such as this. You need me to prove my honor? How? Perhaps with a little marksmanship contest on my practice range. If you can outshoot me, the pistol is yours. A shooting contest? You're on. Magnifique. Let me know when you are ready. Okay, let's hit a save before we do this. Save Scummit. Alright, let's do it. With pleasure, mon capitaine. Follow me. Aye, even that old fool Wilson won't break the Admiral's embargo. Bien, we are here. You are ready to begin? I'm ready. Ah, bon. Then listen closely. <sighs> to win, you must make we eight successful eats. Comprende? Attention, et commence. Ah, uh, slagging. This is horrible. Wants to try again. Well, before I have another go at that, I think I'm done. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and tune in for next time for shooting and more pirating antics.